It was 1999 when I first discovered Arlene Hutton's work. I was directing my very first thing ever, and it was a night of one acts and scenes for Valentine's Day. Now, decades later, the only image that has stayed with me all these years is of Mindy Anders and Stuart Maxwell sitting on a bench from a scene from Arlene Hutton's award-winning play, Last Train to Nabrak, which went on to receive over 100 initial productions. So two weeks ago, I was a little tickled when I got cast in According to the Chorus at the Road Theater and found myself looking across the table at Beth, a.k.a. Arlene Hutton. So I want to introduce you to the world premiere of According to the Chorus by Arlene Hutton. The story, in the basement quick change room of a Broadway theater in the mid-1980s, life is full of angst as the long-running production may close at any time. And the chorus women are at war with the wardrobe department. Will the new dresser and her own sad past and uncertain future be able to navigate this minefield? According to the chorus is a funny, nostalgic, behind-the-scenes look at a pivotal period in the history of Broadway, where women's issues and the AIDS crisis play out through the everyday lives of equity performers and union dressers. Here are the characters. KJ, played by Samantha Tan, the new dresser joining the show. Audrey, played by yours truly, Avery Clyde. Longtime dresser and shop steward, been on the show since the beginning. Brenda, played by Amy Tolsky, has had a life in the theater. Longtime dresser, no nonsense, bad knees. Peter, played by Juan Pope, featured dancer and new to the show. Mallory, played by Maria Spasoff, is the star of the show within the show, which might feel a little like 42nd Street, as that is the show that Beth was a dresser on herself. How cool is that? Nikki, played by Jacqueline Misahe, youngest and brand new dancer on the show, looking for community and loves shopping. Linda, played by Julia Manis, dancer on the show since the beginning, a bit of a flake and a ton of fun. Monica, played by Gloria Nez, dancer that has a take no prisoner spitfire policy. Jessica, played by Kristen Evelyn, dancer, perfectionist, fully committed. Joyce, played by Sorel Carradine, dancer with seniority has spent her life dancing. Stacy, played by Mara Klein, the swing that can do anything. Van, played by Danny Lee Gomez, the beloved long-suffering stage manager. And Olivia, the dog, played by Fidget. Yes, a real live dog on stage. (laughs) The description is extremely cute. That's why she got cast. And conveniently, it's also Sorrell's dog in real life. I just want to thank Emily Chase, our fearless director, who is taking on a world premiere with a huge cast with collaboration and contagious excitement. Thanks to the Barrow Group, Beth's Home Theater Company, and Chris Gatman, who directed the reading in the 2022 Summer Playwrights Festival and would direct the East Coast premiere in 2023. Theater is one of the last things to fully come back post-pandemic, so I encourage you, if you haven't been out, Go. Not only does the theater need the support, but it's a great night out. Tickets are live now, and Sunday matinees are pay what you can, so all are welcome. Thanks for listening, friends. See you at the theater.